What is up? Welcome back to the channel. This is Pokemon TV Unlimited. I'm your host, Pika Papa, and we're back. We're gonna revisit a little bit of MetaZoo Seance because I recently found these at my local Target. We got a wonderful little uh, call -up pod potty um, promo here and a Copenhagen Devil promo. I love the promos in MetaZoo and they added some kind of little I don't know, a holographic card in the back, and let's uh, check it out and see if we can pull one of those Hateful Eight hollows that are actually doing really well financially. Probably, ooh, you can hear the coin, a nice, beautiful, real metal coin, unlike Pokemon with their metallic plastic coin. Let's get the packs back here. We'll open up this one as well. Just get them all out. And they open up so much nicer than Pokemon packs which are like a little fortress to get into there's our coin let's check out the coin first get that i think that's a sentry box devil there with the meta zoo oh two separate different coins that's sweet and then we have that is the um that is the this coin is that Kaleopati, Kaleopati, look at those, look at that foiling. Look at the little, oh, was it Walmart? Did I get through that? Was it Walmart? It might have been Walmart. I think it was Target. Like, but why does it have the little W? I think that's for a Walmart promo. Let's take a look at these. What is this? This is Seven of Cups. Oh, it's like a tarot card. That is like really cool. The foiling in MetaZoo is pretty awesome. Is this, this is the Hermit. So these are like little tarot cards. That is actually really cool. The artwork is, is cool. The foiling is just really nice. Okay, let's look at these promos. Again, we have the Copenhagen Devil. The promos in MetaZoo do pretty well. They don't sell like a ton a day or whatever, but they sell five, six, seven bucks. Usually we'll put the prices up on the screen for those. Let's go ahead and get into these packs. What I do really like about the MetaZoo packs is the quality of the packs. They're easy to open. They tear nice. The quality is really good. All right. Drowned Pianist, the moon. So this side, Materialize, Blood Grimoire. Martian bees. Bzzz. Tommy knocker. I mean, we used to make those back in the day. I gotta reverse the ghost kind. The kind ghost, excuse me. And the ghost of sloss furnaces. And then we have our token and our little land type thing, auroras. Over there. So one reverse hollow. See? So nice. You don't have to show with the packs. I was just opening up some of those Lord of the Rings packs and struggling, fighting to get in. Card quality, awesome. I'm telling you, boys and girls, don't sleep on MetaZoo. I, I think the concept is solid, and we have a reverse Orang Eyes. Orange Eyes? Orang Eyes. Or no, orange, orange eyes, oh my god. Casey Jones, and then our token and auroras here in the back, dark aurora, hanging out in back. Okay, this is the end of the first three pack blister, no full hollow yet. And if I understand MetaZoo correctly, they are completely randomized. So we could get three hollows, we could get three reverses. All of the reverse rares do kind of hold a little value as well. Overall, what do we got there? We had a reverse there. Another reverse, natural chaos orb. The foil in there, you get to see the little seance eye there. Really nice. Alaskan ice monster. And then we have our token raining frost aurora. Okay, no full hollows yet. God, what if we can get that possessed aurora? The possessed aurora is almost $200 flirting with the $200 range. Hat 
Tag of Detroit, and another reverse, a Winnicock. Winnicock. Reverse there. Oh, and a Winnicock regular. Yeah, those Hateful Eights only come in full hollows. Okay, second pack of the second three pack. You just grab it, you put your thumb there, you just rip it. Nice quality wrapper. Black mass again for the first card. Lot contract. And a spider, a backpack. Energy. Bees again. Oh, 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 I think that was one. Oh, it's one. Curse contract. I think that's one of them. Oh, I think that's one of them. Only comes in the. Hall of Foil, I think that's one of them. Hopefully I'm not getting all excited over nothing. There we go. We will have to check on that one. All right, last pack. Man, is it, and then the, to be honest, the opening experience, look at the artwork, is very interesting. It's different than a lot what's out there. Death. And just, it's a fun opening, the Empress. And a uh, Graffy Possum. It's a Giraffe Possum. Giraffe Possum. Sweet, I think this is one right here. Hopefully I'm not getting all excited over nothing. Um, Just a little bit more on MetaZoo. I think it's, you know, we're and they just entered their new block. Um, everything seems to be going pretty well. The box prices of MetaZoo are hovering around that $75 to $100 range. Um, they didn't crash as much as the UFO did um, due to the cutback on the, um, the printing. Uh, they cut back half of the printing that they did. So that's really good. And I just think that the future MetaZoo is bright. And if you are looking for a new TCG to get in on the ground floor, MetaZoo is affordable boxes, fun cards, um, cards of value. Um, I haven't played the game yet, but it seems like it's pretty interesting and fun to play. And um, they just have a lot of cool promos. And, and um, these are like the main set stuff, but they have a lot of like specialty products that come in limited releases that are just really fun to collect and I can see those having definitely a lot of value. But the, I like to stick with the main series stuff. Um, I think it's um, just, just a little bit, I guess, easier and it's just more accessible and I still think it's a whole lot of fun. But if you are looking for like a niche one, something that not everybody and their mom's into, I think MetaZoo is a good choice and something you should take a look at. Thank you again for watching. This is Pika Papa saying you gotta catch them all. Bye.